I know it's cold up there, so yeah. But in the mist, you know, it's tough. Good morning everyone we are here doing a two-day trip it is December 2nd yeah December 2nd oh my gosh today's my mom's birthday and I didn't even see happy birthday this morning I completely forgot it's been one oh my gosh I think just in the midst of moving I had a panic scare couldn't find my badge finally found it oh my gosh I need to call her. That is, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I feel so bad. Hey. Hey, I am so sorry. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh, I was just... Cause, oh my gosh, no, because I'm like, I'm vlogging and then, you know, I'm doing a, about to get ready to do a breakdown. It's like December 2nd. I said, oh shit. I was just completely <laughs> oblivious. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, mom. Happy birthday. Oh my gosh. I hope you have a good one, even though it's going to be nasty and ugly today, but yeah. Oh, it's, it's perfect already. I uh, got up and helped you. I appreciate so you it. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry. It's a great. Oh yeah. my gosh. I would have feel bad if you'd have got there and couldn't find your kids. Right. Or your uh, ID stuff. Yeah. Okay. See, I'm a praying woman. God got me up. Get up. Ask these questions. Yes. Good, yeah. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Again, happy You're birthday. Welcome. Okay. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. <laughs> All right. Bye. You know that. Oh, I'll be right back. Okay. So, yeah, I needed to call her back because I hung up and did a call in mid sentence. But, yeah. Um, it's a two day trip today. We are going to. We lay over in JFK. Um, two legs today Atlanta to Austin, Austin to JFK. I did not see that damn three-hour sit in Austin. Why? That's not a base. <laughs> oh, I should have got rid of this trip. But one of my friends is on this trip, so and he was like, "Are you keeping this trip?" I was like, "Yeah." Are you gonna keep it? He said, "Yeah." And it's a pretty junior crew, so it is not a bad credit either. So I'm gonna keep it. Um, lay over in JFK, then we do JFK Miami, Miami to Atlanta. So, yeah. Yeah, so let's get started. Get the party started. Um, yeah, get all my stuff. And um, I know it's cold up there, so yeah. But in the mist, you know, it's time. It is what I like to call Carmen San Diego season. So you know, we bring out. Is now for me. It's time for me to bring out my um, the infamous red red coat so yes girl i'm gonna be sad when we have the sunset you know our uniforms when we get our new uniforms whenever that will be and i'm curious to know like how it would look the outerwear and stuff because i'm not gonna lie this red coat is fire i don't, I don't care what no one say and i think even afterwards i probably would you know i'm still gonna wear this not to work of course but outside of work like you know just take uh my company's stitching out but yeah like Baby, this is fire. I don't care what no one say, but that's just me. But um, yeah, it's 540. I have to report at 720. So I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to get my stuff together, head to the gate. I did not put something on my stomach, so I'm gonna stop by somewhere to one of the places to get something to put on my stomach in. Yeah, I'll catch y'all in the next clip. Um which will probably more than likely be on a plane or something like that. But yeah. So yeah, let's get this two-day trip started. Day one, two. Atlanta to Austin. And then we, I can't believe we got a three-hour sit. Like, what in the world? Yeah, anyways, bye.
So we just finished briefing. Um, I'm at the two right door. I'm the second, I guess you could say. Uh, the second senior person. The first one is Drew. I flew with him before. You you might see him in the vlog. Uh, flight lead Alyssa. Uh, I feel like we might be ABC. We were just talking about that, but we gotta wait to see. We're waiting on the last person. Um, they're really just a tad bit late, but we're a, we're like a very open fight. We're very open. Um, and we are ABC and it looks like we're about to board so I will catch you guys in the next clip so all right bye So we made it. We made it to NYC. We are at our layover. We have 12 hours. Actually, I think it's like 13 now. The pilots actually made up some time. Um, yeah, so we had the layover. I just did my security checks. This is what I don't like. I don't like the whole like joining room thing. So I'm going to move this. Right there. Probably all the way over. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna just do that. Um got twin beds here and nice little closet area. The bar area. Need to put my water in there. Um very nice bathroom man. It is I motion sensor. Okay, so yeah. Um, yeah. So 
we are actually gonna meet up at like around 7 15 downstairs with everyone so i'm gonna go ahead and change clothes decompress i need to charge my phone So yeah, I need to charge my phone and get a little shuttled and yeah, we'll go from there. So I will catch you guys in like the next clip or something like that. We'll go from there. Like I brought soup, but I want something else. Like I want to, I want pizza. How ironic and I'm in New York, so I don't know. Don't mind me. Let me close these because it's... Yeah. All right. I see y'all in the next clip, whenever that will be. So I'm back in the room. When I tell you I am so annoyed, like so annoyed, I, so at, at our layover, um, you know, there's a bar area. So, you know, me and the crew, we went down, you know, to all have a uh, drink while we wait for our pizza. And it was a security guy coming around asking our, you know, asking people for IDs, apparently. But it seemed like he was asking all of the younger black people for their, for their IDs. Um, we are an ABC crew. So we're seeing here like why what's going on because you know apparently they have to check IDs or you know making sure that no one bought us a drink. But with all due respect, you have to, we had to show ID to even come in here. And my thing is if I'm sitting in the bar area, excuse my French, I'm damn sure not sitting at the bar area drinking a cranberry juice. I'm drinking something with alcohol in it. And it's just weird. So we watched him and tailed him. He's literally asking all of the younger people, but skipping, you know, skipping. Let me say this. He's asking all of the younger black people, but skipping all of the white people, young and old. Um, why is that? So when one of the crew members asked him and decided to challenge him, you know, he couldn't. You can you can kind of tell when people are just making shit up at the top of their head and they start you know stuttering and you know can't really get their words together that's exactly what he was doing and it was just like nah something isn't right so you know as we were getting ready to leave you know we kind of noticed some of the people that he asked and we asked them and it was like yeah we don't understand one girl was like i don't know why he asked me but didn't ask anybody else in my group which she was a black girl but everybody else was white but they're all young but why her I don't know. That was annoying as hell. Um, but I digress. It's don't even get me started. But anyways, um, our pizza came. We came and left. Uh, left the bar. We ate in the uh, little hotel lounge area. And our crew member, uh, he suggested this place uh, to get pizza from, and it is good. Like. I know where to go next time I uh, have this layover again. It was good. So, yep. Kudos to Drew. Thanks for the suggestion on the pizza, sir. But, yeah. It's 10.03. We have a pickup time of 6.10 tomorrow morning. Yeah, 6.10. Uh, two legs tomorrow. This is a two-day trip, so tomorrow's go-home day. We do JFK to Miami. Then Miami back to Atlanta. So not too bad. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for bed. Um, I think I'm gonna pull my iPad out. I might watch a couple of Vlogmas videos. It is Vlogmas. Um, you know, right now, pretty much all of the YouTube world participates in uploads videos every day until Christmas, I think. Yeah, until Christmas. Some do different renditions. Some actually upload every video till Christmas Day. More power to you. Um, I'm not participating. And if I was, I think what would work better for me would be more of a weekly variation. So maybe like uh, every week, a uh, Sunday and Wednesday, 
video go up for my vlog and it's something that I can keep up or I don't know maybe uh, a 12 days 12 days of vlogmas or something like that I don't know I do want to participate next year just that this year nah, just with the Mr. moving and everything which good news I did get approved for the apartment so I'm excited about that so that's a blessing within itself so yeah we're moving girl we are moving and yeah so anyways i am rambling i'm kind of sleepy but i need to stay up just a little bit um and be able to everything is all just about packed back up and get everything together for tomorrow so but in the meantime, I will catch you guys in the next clip, which will be tomorrow morning. So I'll see y'all in the morning. Let's go home. Y'all have a good night. Bye. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's go home day and we are up. It is 5.45 pick up time is at 6 10 and i am pretty much done i'm going down a little early so i can get like a coffee or something and kind of just chill out not be so much in a rush and be on go mode so yeah that's what i'm gonna do get, go down a little earlier uh get a little coffee or something and um wait to be picked up so ooh. so yeah we have two legs today we are doing crap i know i said this in the last clip before i went to sleep jfk to miami miami to atlanta so yeah that infamous New York, Florida trek. So we'll see how this goes. Um, but yeah, let me finish getting ready and I'll see you guys um, on the plane as we go ahead and finish out and knock out these two legs and head on home. So I'm excited, I'm tired. I got a pack, I got so much to do, so much to do. So but yeah, I'll see y'all in the next clip. Hey everyone, so I know it's a couple days later <laughs> um, since I last, I guess, dropped off with the vlog. Um, but yeah, that was the trip into Sunday. Today is Tuesday, so it's not that much later, it's just like a day later. But um, I am home uh, packing because we are moving. Um, I gotta go get more boxes, speak of it. But yeah, um, I was getting ready to edit this vlog and once again, thought i closed it out forgot so i um, wanted to come back and tell you guys like what happened in the midst of everything why is this so bright there we go so yeah um trip ended the trip ended good as far as we had a good crew but we were literally late like Day two, go home day was like a whole shit show. The shuttle was late picking us up. And then for some reason, JFK was backed up for eons. Two of our crew members got random. So that took forever in the day. And then I guess instead of having them come through the pre-TSA check part, they had them all the way down on the opposite end. So we had to wait for them there. We're sitting here like, where are they? And then not only that, um, I'm not that familiar with JFK and LaGuardia. Honestly, I avoid both. Honestly... I avoid all of my company's bases. I know some people are like, no, nah, I only avoid Atlanta, this, that. No, I avoid all of them because all of them would treat you like you were on their A days. And as soon as a flight can't come in, you're they're quick to add something on to you. And then that long layover you was looking forward to 
is drop down to a daggone minimum rest. And I don't like that. So I actually avoid all of our bases if possible. But anyways, but yeah, not familiar with JFK, but I'm getting acclimated with it a little bit. But yeah, they had them go all the way down on the other end. And then on top of that, um, our gate was the very last gate, B-53, the very last gate on the other end. Now, mind you, everybody talks shit about Atlanta. Oh, Atlanta's this. Oh, Atlanta's that. Atlanta is probably one of the most efficient damn airports, aside from working there, just that I have been through. At least we have a train that takes you through. We had a walk. Ghetto. Had a walk. And then my watch kept going off saying, oh, it seems like you're exercising. No, baby. And we're rushing to the gate because we were already like 20 minutes late into you know, into our departure time. And then, you know, the infamous going from anywhere in New York to anywhere in Florida, specifically JFK to Miami, a whole shit show. Like it, <laughs> I'm avoiding that as much as possible for as long as possible as I can. And I get it. I know I said there's times that I, you know, once or twice on some other occasions, I said I wanted to try out New York. I, I still do. But baby, I'm avoiding the whole New York to Florida track as much as possible because that shit is ghetto. And excuse my French, I'm cussing up, but like that really makes you rethink life and your job as a flight attendant and just like, why be like that? Why? And then it's funny because, you know, a lot of, we were payload optimized and then people still putting their book bags up and you know, I'm saying here, like, especially in the exit row, you have more than enough leg room. So I started pulling book bags and told people in exit rows, y'all could put these book bags underneath your seat. You do have more than enough leg room. One guy persists to be like, well, I'm not putting my book bag underneath my seat. I say, okay, sir, I left the book bag in the aisle and put the other lady's suitcase up there because we need to put suitcase. And I left it there and I walked away because you got two options and really not two. Put the book back, you know, do as I say, comply, or you can catch another flight, and I guarantee you it won't be with us. We even said, hold on to your small items. Of course, no one listens. Unfortunately, that forces flight attendants to try to have to regulate and be the bad person. But my thing is, we can all get along to get along. We can all get to where we need to be. Don't sit, you know... If you're worried about your connection, my thing is make sure that you're doing everything right to help with the flow of you know i guess you could say traffic when it comes to the boarding process in a sense we're all in this together but i digress anyways it's tuesday i need to finish packing um got the apartment as i said in another um clip so i will be moving i'm happy because i am so much more closer within like downtown and like the airport and stuff so i don't have to travel as far as i do now i stay in the suburbs i was staying with my mom so yeah i'm excited about that so <laughs> um let's get the show on the road i think the next couple of vlogs may be a mix of flight attendant and moving vlogs um i'm eating candy by the way but yeah um as you can see don't judge me my room is a hot mess it's a couple of boxes here i'm getting rid of this tv here clothing rack i need to get some uh, wardrobe boxes for my coats and stuff it's it's a high mess but we're gonna get on with the get on so anyways that's either here or there i'm rambling but um i thank you guys for sticking with me this far within the vlog um if you are new don't forget to hit that like comment and subscribe um definitely share with your friends if you are a returning subscriber as always thank you thank you thank you and i will catch you guys in the next vlog and I do appreciate the suggestions on the last vlog. So I'm going to still continue to keep doing what I'm doing and insert other aspects of my life in the vlogs. And yeah, we'll go from there. Um, we're so close to 500. If I can make 500 before 2023 is over with, that would be awesome. Once we hit 1,000, I'm doing a giveaway. I'm doing a giveaway. So yeah. Um, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next vlog. Bye.